Scanning for malicious software called malware is one of the most important system maintenance tasks that you can perform. When you scan for malware, you want to make sure that you check your computer with more than one scanner. I recommend that you perform a virus scan at least once a month. First, use your computer's antivirus to perform a full scan of all of the drives on your computer. Your antivirus should already be set to perform a quick scan once a week. To perform a full scan, open up your antivirus and click on the full scan option and click scan now. Each antivirus will be different, but they will all have an option to perform a full scan. The next scanner that you are going to use is going to be from malwarebytes.org. This is a free scanner that is one of the best for finding and removing viruses. When you install the free edition, make sure that you do not activate the trial edition. The trial edition has a real-time scanner which will conflict with the main antivirus. After you have installed Malwarebytes, select the option to perform a full scan and then click Scan. If you are not using Microsoft Security Essentials as your antivirus, I recommend going to the Microsoft website and downloading the Microsoft Safety Scanner. To download the tool, go to the Security tab and click on Security Home. Then click on Run Microsoft Safety Scanner on the right. This tool will need to be re-downloaded each time you use it. The safety scanner does not need to be installed. Accept the license agreement, then choose the full scan option and click next. The last scanner that I recommend using is from superantispyware.com. Download the free scanner and install it onto your computer. When you open up the program, choose to run the complete scan. You should continue to run all of these programs that we used in this video at least once a month. All of the scanners that we used were 100% free. If you find any malware while performing these scans, make sure that you follow the steps to remove the viruses then restart your computer to permanently delete them.